Hey, what's up, guys? I uh, want to make this quick video today to kind of just uh, talk and uh, rant about how angry I currently am. Uh, I waited for 2.0 to drop for a very long time uh, just because the hand cannons were out of control uh, and uh, it needed to be done sooner. Um, but today, I want to talk to you guys about the Hopscotch Pilgrim and why I'm so angry oh dear. Dear. Uh, about this Eon weapon. Eon and I'll do a complete breakdown. Now, uh, I've been on the forums a lot today and uh, listened to or read a lot of people talk about, oh, well, the weapon was OP and things like that, which I don't really Man, understand because it's a high impact pulse rifle. Uh, but I'm kind of going to break down a lot of stuff for you today and I really hope that you take the time to listen to what I have to say rather than just jump to conclusions and say oh well that it was OP and it needed to be done so without further ado let's have a look and compare these pulse rifles first I want to start with three little words now for anybody that's played Crucible and has had this game for a while, Three Little Words, at one point in time, was the best pulse rifle, high impact pulse rifle that you could get your hands on. Uh, after Bungie uh, released the buff for pulse rifles for, for uh, PvP that made them uh, do more damage, which is great because they were quite terrible before it needed to be done. Uh, to make it uh, a viable option, a weapon to use in PvP, which it wasn't at that time. Now, at that time, you could get Three Little Words. Now, Three Little Words was a vendor crucible weapon that you could actually buy from the vendor here, which I'm heading to right now. And oh, it yeah. wasn't like this weapon was hard to obtain. You just needed 150 yes. marks. This is where three little words used to be. Okay. Now this weapon, you only needed 150 marks and needed to be rank three in crucible. Fair enough. Even if you were bad and constantly lost and went negative, you were sooner or later become rank three at some point in time and have enough marks to buy this weapon. The thing I don't get, though, is that around this time and after the buff, buff for Pulse Rifles, I never heard anybody complain about Three Little Words being OP. I never heard people crying about it being OP and things like that. And if it was OP, then why weren't more people using it? I think less than 5% of Crucible players used this weapon at that point in time. So it's like... It's, hey, it's not even a valid screw. argument to bring into a conversation about it being OP when the percentage of players aren't even using it. Now, moving on. Actually, wait. Before we move on, I just want to touch base that Three Little Words is still a beast. Um, hands down, probably the best pulse rifle in the game. And uh, I, I'm glad I kept mine. Uh, I want to take a moment to uh, congratulate everybody that does not have that does still have a, po a pox and fair and square from year one at launch. Wish I would have kept mine. You guys are awesome. Please don't dismantle them. Keep them forever. Okay, so anyways, the high impact pulse rifle class consisted of. Three Little Words, Spare Change, Messenger, Hopscotch, Pox, Fair and Square. With the introduction of House of Wolves, they introduced the Spare Change, the Messenger, Hopscotch Pilgrim. Which, all in all, great. The Spare Change, meh, stability is terrible. The recoil pattern for this weapon is awful, but you could still make it a pretty pretty damn good weapon to use in Crucible. Now, let's talk about 2.0. Less than 24 hours ago, 2.0 dropped. Now, along with this drop, one thing changed. They removed the Hopscotch Pilgrim from the High Impact Pulse Rifle class where it used to be. Okay. But 
my madness is really in the question of why. Strength and light type. I know a lot of people will say, well, it's because of the stability. Okay, because if you max out the stability on this weapon with braced frame or hand late stock, you have max stability. This weapon was a monster. I mean, but it's high impact pulse rifle. It does the same damage as three little words, spare chains, messenger, pox, and ferret square. So, is it just the stability? What they essentially did is a mirror wep mirror image to this weapon to the 5.5A All Fate Vanguard weapon. The stats are identical, as you can pr clearly see. Pretty much identical. So, if they did this from a balanced perspective, why was the hopscotch picked on and the only one picked on in this 2.0 update when it came to high impact pulse rifles? Why? Now, if the problem with the hopscotch for balancing needed to mirror image the all fate, why wasn't it done with three little words? Or spare change? Or messenger? Or the pox in fair and square? Hell, on my spare change right now, if I add on hand late stock, the stability is pretty high. If I go to my messenger and put on perfect balance, stability is pretty high. Pretty effective weapon for a two burst kill. So why pick on the hopscotch? If the stability was a problem, why not just balance the hopscotch stability to, so it could fall in line with all the other weapons? So essentially, they took this one weapon, this one weapon only, and mirror imaged it to another weapon for balancing, but all the other weapons in the same class were not touched at all. So I'm trying to figure out the reasoning behind this and why this could have been done. Now, the, the reason why I'm so mad is because a hopscotch was a very hard weapon to obtain. A lot of people played hundreds of strikes and still don't have the weapon where people played a couple of strikes and they were lucky to get one. This weapon was sought after because it was a good high contender in PvP. Which is great. It's, it's refreshing that people were trying to use other weapons rather than, oh well, I'm just going to use a thorn and last word and not use anything else in the game. The Hopscotch Pilgrim was a weapon that you could go into trials with and counter those scrubs using exotic hand cannons and win games. In fact, the last three, four weeks that I played trials, I only used the Hopscotch Pilgrim. I didn't use anything else. And it went flawless on all three characters each week with just this weapon. So, why, why impact just this one weapon? You've easily just made the messenger the most, the, the greatest pulse rifle in the game, current game right now. Which you'll start to hear people say, oh, this weapon's OP. But you've brought it upon yourself, Bungie. You took one weapon, destroyed it, and not touched the other ones. So currently the messenger is the best pulse rifle in the game. And uh, like I said, if, if the hopscotch was a problem, then why didn't you touch any of the other pulse rifles and hit them in the stability? Logically, that makes sense, right? Anyways, I'm still trying to understand the madness behind this. Was it that they didn't touch the messenger because it was a trials weapon and they didn't want the sweaty tryhards and trials to be salty about it? Could that have been the reason? So instead they took a strike weapon that was rare to drop and made all those people mad. What was the point of doing all those dragon strikes or playing the level 28 Prison of Elders? There's really no point at all. You just essentially wasted your time. And if Bungie would have brought this up to us when they released the initial patch notes, like, oh hey, we're doing all of this with pulse rifles for balancing, but oh yeah, guess what? We're totally going to rechange the Hopscotch Pilgrim and only the Hopscotch Pilgrim. A lot of people would have saved a lot more time and not got into Dragon Strikes to get this weapon. You think, right? So why at the last minute be like, oh, well, hey, 
we're working on balancing all pulse rifles, but mostly pretty much just the hopscotch pilgrim. Why, why did you single one weapon out? I don't understand. And it wasn't like the hopscotch pilgrim was like a uh, top 50% usage in trials or in the game at all like the thorn was. Where you didn't go into trials matches and see nothing but a 3v3 fight of everyone only using a hopscotch pilgrim. In fact, you probably rarely saw a hopscotch pilgrim in trials. And even in Iron Banner, they would rarely pop up compared to, you know, your messengers, your spare chains, and the other scrub exotic hand cannons at that time. So, why? Why, why? Just this one weapon. I'm pretty angry right now. I really enjoy this weapon. It's still a, a great weapon. I mean, 32 damage for headshots, but, uh... I just don't understand Bungie and why they did this just to one weapon. Anyways, uh, thanks for hanging out. Let me rant. Can I go over this stuff with you guys? And uh, like to see your views. And uh, tell me what you think about this. And uh, from that, I'm going to get off and go to bed. And uh, thanks for watching.